Marcus Stroman. Talked to some fans, signed some autographs, visited with some ex teammates, former coaches. Seems thrilled to be back, uh, as always, professing his love for Toronto and for Canada, and he is excited to be on the mound tomorrow night. They are still in a playoff spot at the moment, a game and a half ahead of the Orioles. The Orioles don't play tonight. Neither do the Rays or the Mariners, the two teams just ahead of the Blue Jays in the standings. Brios likes pitching in his red jersey top, so they were going to wear them start this series. This is 26th start of the season. He's coming off two real good outings, his last two outings, both on the road at New York and at Fenway Park in Boston. Two down for Ian Happ, the switch hitting left fielder, 279, 15 homers, 34 doubles on the season. Bouncing ball hit on the left side, and this will be a swinging bunt for a base hit. Remember, no one was guarding third base, and that ball just bounced past <laughs> third and fielded on the dirt finally by Chapman, but no throw to first as Hap gets the single with two outs. Wow, I mean, Hap was flying early, and Barrio stepped off. Biggio applies the tag, and that'll be that for the Cubs. He got going so early, somebody must have hollered and gotten Barrios' attention to Buck, and it was easy pickings from there. Starting pitcher for the Cubs is brought to you by Budweiser. This Bud's for you, second big league start for Javier Assad uh, Tuesday against the Cardinals. He featured fastball at 93, threw a lot of cutters. He has a curve, a changeup, and a slider. He went four innings. Opportunity for Toronto. First and second, two down. Guriel and Kirk aboard. And Bo takes inside. He draws another walk, his third in the last two games. And the bases are loaded now for Kevin Biggio. Biggio lifts it the opposite way. Ian Happ coming on and makes the catch. Bit of a scare, but Assad gets out of it. Scoreless 3 1 in Toronto. Alfonso Rivas, the first baseman, lines one into right field for a base hit to lead off the third. That is the third hit off Jose Barrios. And here comes Christopher Morell. A young man who we understand is about the most personable guy in a baseball. He will tap the umpire on the shoulder. He will tap the catcher on the shoulder. I was told he will also look out and acknowledge the pitcher and look into the visiting dugout. But I guess he's got his. No, oh, he, he just did just, it. There it is. It, right. Yeah, there. he saluted the pitcher wow. on the mound. And a swing and a miss. Barrios gets him with a fastball. One down. One down. Back to the top and Nick Madrigal. Madrigal flares that one out to right. On the move, Rivas sliding safely into third. Runners on the corners for Wilson Contreras. A bouncing ball hit on the left side, charging the shortstop. Bichette to second for one, throw to first, not in time as Contreras beats that out. So the Cubs score first as Rivas crosses home plate. It's a 1 0 lead for the Cubs over the Blue Jays here in inning number three. And the Cubs have men at the corners with no one out here in the fourth. And the dangerous Nico Horner do up. Bouncing ball through in a right field. The Cubs extend the lead. Two to nothing as Suzuki scores. Reyes on his way to third. The throw in time. They get him. As Chapman applies the tag, Reyes out at third. Horner advances to second. But the Cubs score another run on the RBI single by Nico Horner. It's two to nothing Cubs over Toronto here in the fourth. Reyes trying to go first to third. Tapia in right comes up and aggressively gets this ball and throws a strike to Chapman at third base. The Cubs do get another run on the play. Now lead two to nothing and they've got a runner at second with one down for the center fielder Rafael Ortega. This one is hit hard line to center and coming on to make the catch is George Springer. A great diving catch out in left center by Springer and Guriel with a hug and making sure his buddy's OK. This has been all that familiar territory. Base hit walk two on nobody out pop up ground out and now you got to come up with a two out base hit. And he pops it up. Morrell makes the catch and another opportunity goes by the wayside for the Blue Jays. Wilson Contreras at the plate. Madrigal now on the night two for three. Wilson rips that one down the line. Fair ball. It ricocheted up into the crowd and it looked like a fan got a hand on it and Madrigal will have to hold at third. And Contreras breaks out of the 0 for 14 slump and it's the first extra base hit in the ball game tonight. Now the infield has to come in. Tough situation again with just one out. And a good hitter with the plate in Ian Happ. He is one for two tonight. Swing and a miss at a curveball down and in. Down to first for the out. Coming home. And they got him at the plate. 
Guerrero fires back to Jansen. We'll see if the Cubs ask for a challenge, but right now it's a heck of a play to get the defense off the field. Higgins coming to the plate, one out and two men on. Boy, a base hit or an extra base hit would really be big here. Higgins drives that one out to center and it's a base hit. He'll stretch it to second, a two-run double for P.J. Higgins. And he doubles the lead. Uh, it's such a hard job to come off the bench and deliver. And well done, P.J. Higgins. P.J.'s are trying to change their luck in the dugout, Buck. I don't know that we've seen that before. I have not seen it. That's uh, something you see in college games. But, hey, whatever it takes, fellas. A big spot here for Jansen. First and third, nobody out. Danny 0 for 2 on a couple of pop-ups tonight. Jansen with a fly ball to deep left center field. It's gone. Danny had a home run in Boston at Fenway Park. Uh, this might be the biggest home run of this season for Danny Jansen. Three run shot to get back in the ball game. Walk single home run. And it's been a long time since we've said that. The Blue Jays can string some base runners together. And Danny Jansen cashes all of them in. 11 home runs now for Jansen. The three RBIs will give him 29, and that knocks Eric Goldman out of the game. A job by the bottom of the order to get back in this game. Two out for the Blue Jays. Kevin Biggio stepping in. That's a fair ball and headed for the corner. And Biggio's headed for second. And the batter is Matt Chapman. He got the seventh inning started by drawing a walk. And that's into left field and down for a base hit. Biggio getting the wave. The throw is not in time. And this game is tied. Not a great pitch to hit, to be honest with you. 97 miles per hour in on the label. Matt Chapman somehow gets enough of it, pulls into left field. So with two down, it'll be Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Vladdy is one for four, had a base hit to left back in the third. The crowd is some kind of buzzing right now. And the 3 2, and it's inside ball four. Guerrero takes a two out walk here in the bottom of the ninth. Now, Lourdes Gurriel Jr., one for four. Swung on and grounded to third. And the long throw. They get the out at first on a big stretch by Higgins, bailing out Morrell. Extra innings on the way here, and the new pitcher for the Blue Jays, the sixth pitcher of the night for the Blue Jays, is Jimmy Garcia. Fastball lined, and Bichette has it. And he will go to second base for the double play. Well, there's another red star for your book, and that was a beauty. Cubs will now play back against Danny Jansen, looking for a double play. Does anyone want to win this game, Ben? Winning run stands at second. Danny Jansen with a base hit into left field. Chapman around third on his way to the plate and in there safely. And Danny Jansen with a huge night tonight as the Blue Jays walk it off. What a night for Jansen and Buck. Did they ever need that win here tonight? Absolutely. Their seventh extra inning win. Danny drives in four runs with a big home run in the seventh. So you make it a one run game and then wins it with an RBI single. To drive home the winning run here in the bottom of the 11th and boy, oh boy it seems like it's been a week since they've won but they snapped that three game losing streak and get back on the winning track.